Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. And no, the curtains don't match the carpet. This week your votes at WIMZ.com sent me to see Legion, starring Paul Bettany, Lucas Black, Tyrese Gibson, Dennis Quaid, and others in the story of the end of the world. My, what a popular subject for movies nowadays. Uh, Paul Bettany is the angel Michael. He has defied God and come to earth to save humanity because God has decided he no longer believes in people. Um, and he plans on wiping out all of humanity, but Michael still loves God's creation and he wants to save it, if at all possible. And part of that is making sure a young woman named Charlie, uh, who is eight months pregnant, delivers her baby. The baby is the salvation of humanity. To do that, he has to take on his brother, the angel Gabriel, played by Kevin Durand, um, and he um, is at a decided disadvantage because when he comes to Earth, he cuts off his wings. The movie is... I've been hearing about this movie, seeing trailers for it for several months, and thought that, oh, okay, that's not a that's an interesting looking film. I'm kind of curious about that one. And uh, I knew we were going to be in trouble when they didn't screen it for the real critics. That's always a bad sign. Now, it's not terrible, but it's not very good either. Uh, for one thing, the folks who go to church every day aren't going to be happy about it. Um, uh, and I'm no biblical scholar, but from my uh, uh, things I learned in Sunday school and church and the nearly nightly specials on the History Channel, I'm pretty sure that God's wrath will not be carried out by angels wearing leather and firing automatic weapons. Um, and let's face it, if God wanted to wipe humanity off the face of the earth, he'd do it with a thought and then that'd be that. Uh, so, you know, from just the basics of the story, it, it's, it's flawed from the start. Um, and the, the cast of characters in Legion is pretty much out of the book, you know, uh, Movies for Dummies. Uh, it's, it's a bunch of cliched, uh, stereotypical characters. There are a few surprises here and there, but not really much to speak of. Uh, and uh, you know, it's it's okay. The the some of the monstery kind of things that happened are are interesting, especially if you've seen the trailer. The little old lady who walks into the diner uh, has a potty mouth, so just be prepared for that. Um, and some of the other uh, monsters uh, are interesting, but. You know, it's it's okay for what it is. I'm going to give it three guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie I see next time. Till next time, if you want to get in touch with me, you can do that by sending an email to StanTheMovieMan, all one word, at att.net. That's StanTheMovieMan at att.net. Till next time, Stan the Movie Man. See ya.